All right, Ninja Nerds, in this video today, I'm gonna take you guys through how I study, right? How I study when I was in PA school, undergrad, and pretty much it's the same way the way I prep for any video that we do on Ninja Nerd Lectures. Before we get into that, please hit that like button, comment down in the comment section, and please subscribe. Also, down in the description box, we'll link to our Facebook, Instagram, Patreon account. Go check that out and keep in touch with us. We love you, let's get into it. All right, Ninja Nerds, so it's not a great secret you know, it's not this huge secret of how I study and how I try to learn all of these topics. It's pretty straightforward and it actually might seem pretty common sense. I'm gonna give you guys some pointers along the way, but the first thing that I do is I just, I like to use great resources. When I'm studying, whether I was an undergrad, whether I was in PA school, or whether I'm studying for a video that I'm making for Ninja Nerd Lectures, the concept has always been the same for me, which is I have to have a great resource. I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of the PowerPoint presentations, not to say that there's anything wrong with that, I just don't learn that way. So I like to dig into a lot of my resources. And obviously, some of the topics that we've covered here at Ninja Nerd is, you know, your classic is your anatomy, physiology, your embryology, biochem, and medicine. And regardless of what the topic is, I just like to dig into these topics and really try to learn as much as I can about those topics. That's the first piece of advice I could give you. Regardless of what course you're in, get yourself some good resources and dig through those resources. Now, the next thing that I would say is, after you found yourself a really good resource, the next thing is we gotta start taking notes. All right, so the next thing is, after we've found some resources, and usually, to be honest with you, for one topic that I'm studying on, particularly for Ninja Nerd Lectures, uh, for one topic, I sometimes might use multiple resources to tie a lot of that concept together. So that's the big thing, is sometimes I use a lot of different resources, but what I try my best to do is regardless of what source I'm reading, as I'm reading through it, whether it be you know, a, a, an actual paperback book or whether it be a, an ebook, I'm writing and I'm jotting things down. I'm making notes of things that I'm gaining from those textbooks, okay? And actually, pretty interesting is pretty soon, hopefully in the near future, in Ninja Nerd Lectures, we're gonna have our website where I'm actually gonna let you guys see we're gonna have all of these notes that we kind of have for our Ninja Nerd Lectures available to you. But again, take really good notes, try to get the big points from those resources. Then here's, here's your bread and butter. I prefer to find textbooks that have lots of diagrams. That's just the way I learn. I'm a very visual learner. So any chance I can get a textbook and it's got a lot of pictures, a lot of diagrams, I'm all about that. But sometimes, I like to make my diagram. So I like to take the notes that I've compiled from these resources and try to come up with my own diagram if I potentially can. And that's gonna tie in a lot of learning. There's a lot of visual learning, right? From you actually kind of seeing the picture. There's a lot of actual kinesthetics since you're the one drawing it. So there's a lot of learning that's going on in that process. Here's my bread and butter though. And this is something I realized um, a little bit after undergrad. One of the things I bought myself a whiteboard Obviously, you guys know that I'm a big fan of the whiteboards and the markers. But I bought myself a whiteboard, put it in my bedroom, and one of the things that I found is, instead of just kind of like writing notes and then drawing diagrams, I would take the things from my notes and my diagrams that I had written or drawn out on like a piece of paper, I would get in front of a whiteboard, and I would try to literally annotate it. Like I'm going through and I'm teaching somebody, like I'm teaching ninja nerds, like I'm teaching classmates. And I would literally verbally out loud say, okay, I'm gonna take this structure, do this, this, and this, and this. And by doing that, I involved a bunch of different learning. Auditory from me speaking out loud, kinesthetic from me drawing, and then visual from having this beautiful diagram all set up. So that's kind of the big bread and butter here that I really think is important. The last thing here is testing your knowledge. Obviously, when you go through a topic, you're gonna to be learning a lot about certain things. So you obviously wanna see if you learned anything from it. I'm a big fan of question banks. Usually you can find them at the end of the textbook. Sometimes you can find them on different websites, but utilizing these is really good to test your knowledge. Now this might all seem very common sense, which it is, but the biggest thing here that I found is I might have to go through these steps that I just took you through more than once. I might have to go through it a couple times and just keep rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. And so there is a lot of repetition that comes into this. It's not just learn it once and done. So that's really important to remember. There's a lot of repetition, a lot of going back and relearning that topic. But if you have a good base, a good foundation, it's much easier to learn it. So now that we have kind of how I go about studying any topic or prepping for a video, let's give you guys a sneak peek into how I actually go about taking a particular topic, dissecting it, and then drawing it and then presenting it to you guys. Let's get into it. All right, so to give you guys a little sneak peek here, uh, we're actually going to be preparing some cell biology videos. So the first thing we should obviously know is the structure and function of the cell, the mo most basic concept of it. So that's the topic that I'm going to go and learn today. 
So what I like to do is, is like that my good resources. So some of those, Marieb, I'm a big fan of Amboss, really love it. And then First Aid USMLE Step 1 textbook is another big one. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take notes from those. You're gonna see me do that. And then you're also gonna see me draw some diagrams. But then you're gonna to get to see me draw it up on the whiteboard. And then guess what? We're gonna publish this video and you guys are gonna be able to follow along with me seeing if you guys came up with maybe the same kind of process as I did. And then the last thing you should do is be testing your knowledge on this topic. Seeing if you actually learned something from going through, taking notes, drawing diagrams, and practicing like you're teaching somebody. Once you've done that, Repeat it again if you have to, but guess what? If you've gone through this, you just did it the ninja nerd way. All right, so let's go ahead and give you guys a little sneak peek into how we're gonna do this. All right, ninja nerds, so now here we are. We're at the first step here, which is I got my resources. I got my Mary Ebbs textbook. I got my first aid USMLE step one, and then I got my Amboss all set up here. So now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start combing through all of these one by one, kind of giving the big stuff out of it, and then start drawing some diagrams here. This is everything I do before I actually get to the whiteboard and put everything on the whiteboard. So let's go ahead and get into it. Engineers, so you guys got to see how I go through drawing about everything that we talked about within the notes and the diagrams. And again, it's important to remember that as I was drawing all of this out, systematically I was going through what does this do? What is the name of it? And I encourage you guys to be doing that as well. Also, next step is we're gonna publish this video. And when we publish this video on the structure and function of the cell, I encourage you guys to be going through it with me, seeing what you guys were able to come up with. But really, I hope that this way that I study or the way that I prepare for these videos made sense. I really hope that it gave you guys some ideas of how to prepare. But the big thing is repetition, continuously going through this process, and again, testing your knowledge from the questions that come from your textbooks or other supplemental resources. So, engineers, we love you, thank you, and appreciate all the support. And as always, until next time. 